Good morning, y'all. <laughs> I am layered up. I'm about to look at this. Ice on the door handle. Yeah, at my mom's. So we're about to start the car this morning. Hopefully I can open the door <laughs> and hopefully the car starts. Let's go see. It's it's like still negative five degrees. Okay. Yeah, still negative five. Wind chill is outrageously cold. Oh, let's start this baby up. Oh, faith is cold. Oh, she is cold for sure. Well, let's let her warm up while I finish getting. <laughs> They're frozen. I had these in here. They're frozen. I'm sure my bread is frozen. Oh my goodness. They're like baseball. They're like a little golf ball. Woo. All right. Let's go finish getting dressed for work while this baby warms up. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's it's ridiculously cold out here, you guys. You know, I feel for anyone that's homeless, I hope the cities are able to do something for homeless people or churches or some type of organization to get people off the street. Uh, because it's gonna be like this for like the next three days. Yeah, the next three days. I will definitely be at mom's because I I won't survive in my car. Yeah, <laughs> I won't. And once I finish getting dressed and get on the road, I'm going to be back because um, I have a story about my fear of freezing to death. 16 years ago, December 4th, 2006, Missouri was in the midst of an ice and snowstorm. And I'm sure those that are from Missouri know all about this. Hundreds of thousands lost electricity during this storm. The storm claimed 19 lives and my Uncle Bo was included. Uncle Bo was an artist and an activist with an adventurous soul. He was one of the most caring, giving, humble, loving man I've ever known. He was 61. So every time I'm faced with extreme cold weather, I hear a little voice that tells me, do the right thing. So the roads this morning are a little slippery in some spots. There's not many motorists out on the road this morning. So far from what I'm seeing, I'm not sure what the highway is gonna look like. Um, but I'm just driving at my own pace. I don't care who's behind me. You can go around me. I, You're not going to intimidate me. Go around. Okay? Because I am a very cautious driver. You know, I got a lot. <laughs> this van means everything to me. So, uh, yeah. It's 7.28 in the morning. And we're about to hit this ramp. Usually ramps scare me too, but just drive slow and cautious. Slow and cautious. So let me get on this ramp. I'm gonna put this phone down and focus on this ramp. Or hold on. Let's take a look. Slow down. Let's go on the ramp. Highways look good. 
highways do look good. It's cold as out, it's cold as ever. Cold. Extremely cold. stayed at home. Hallelujah. <laughs> Look like this semi has some engine issues. It's all good. Doesn't look like it's snow related or anything of that sort. So far so good guys. my car so it's very very windy I can feel a tug I'm going about 45 miles an hour like I'm a weather reporter y'all check me out I'm multi-talented <laughs> girl let me stop for so bad man. but I am going about 45 miles per hour and eventually I'm going to get over in my right lane because usually your right lane is your slow lane and I'm slow okay we're doing good y'all I'm going about 60 miles an hour doing good Doing good. Roads are great. Highway is great. This is Highway 44. It's great. Windy, but it's not packed with snow. They did a good job putting the salt and stuff down on the highway. So it's roughly about three degrees outside, guys. It's still very, very cold. So on my new job, guys, I completed the training, <clears throat> passed the driver's test, passed the, uh, all the exams that they gave. So I am off work for the next three days which <laughs> I can't go camping like I want to because it's just still too cold. Still too cold for me to be outside in my van. Now, I did along, I did place an order along with the snow pants that I ordered. I ordered a Honeywell heater. It's a low wattage heater. I believe it's on low it goes up to like 190 watts I don't know if that's going to work with my Jackery 240 right now but <laughs> that don't come until Tuesday so I got three more days before that comes to me yeah now as far as like what can I use to heat myself up with guys excuse me I do have a Mr. Buddy heater. I do. I have a Mr. Buddy heater. I also have another um, little heating thing that you set on top of your, your one burner. 
that can heat me up in my van. I do have an electric heated blanket and I do have um, an electric heater, but I need AC outlet for that. So I do have ways to heat me up in my van, but to be honest, I've never stayed in my van with temperatures this low. And as you've seen earlier in the video, I do have a fear of freezing to death because of what happens to my uncle. Um, every time it gets to temperatures like this, I definitely think about him. You know, nicest man, your nicest man that I've ever met. Definitely. So I do think about him. So it looks like I'm going to be stuck in a house for at least two days here. <sighs> Boo hoo. Now, that's not the worst thing in the world. Some people suggested that I get the diesel heater. And, you know, I'm not going to do that, <laughs> okay? Because I'm just not going to do that right at this moment in my life. Not for this van. I'm not going to do that. If I can get, if I can heat myself without a diesel heater, I would do that. There's one thing about uh, with my van is my van has to remain um, it has to remain like a regular vehicle. I can't be having noises coming from my van or I can't be putting things on the outside of my van because I live in St. Louis, you guys. And not only do I live in St. Louis, I, I'm, you know, I'm mainly in a lot of cities, no matter what state I'm in. And I don't want to draw attention um, to my van. To decrease the chances of my car getting broken into and you know robbery so I don't add anything exterior to my van for that reason okay st. Louis is a high crime state y'all <laughs> okay my van could be parked somewhere and I could have a toolie on top and I'll get robbed you just never know so I try to be incognito <laughs> as much as possible I hope you guys are all staying warm hope you got your supplies I hope no one's lost power I know Texas is in a state of an emergency right now I was like, man, I was just there. Is it Texas or was it New York? One of them was in a state of emergency. I, I thought I read. Yeah, hopefully you guys are staying warm, staying safe, staying parked if you can. You got the supplies you need. You got your medications. You got everything you need to be safe and off the streets. If you're about to be hit with the snow that we just got hit with you know and this the snow's done until a few more days it's supposed to snow again but right now it's dealing with this wind chill this wind is torturous right now and my son lives in Minneapolis and this morning it was like negative 11 where he's at and of course, you know, I had to call my baby and check on him, make sure he all right. And he was, he was just getting off work, going home to park his car and stay put. At least that's what he told me. <laughs> but I was like, baby, because mama don't need no more gray hair, worried about you on them streets. So he's doing good. You know, and I noticed I haven't seen any accidents or anything. Yay! <laughs> I haven't seen any while I was out. That's a good thing. And I know some other people were worried about some of the other van lifers, you know, out there. Some of you have commented on my last video that they were safe. Uh, they were warm uh, <clears throat> in their vans. 
I haven't heard from Anthony, so I hope Anthony's all right. Anthony's usually a smart guy, so if his area is getting hit with the wind, with the coldness, you know, Anthony's good for going to a hotel if he has to. So, Anthony, if you're listening to this, I hope you're okay. I hope you're safe, buddy. Hope you're warm. You know? Benjamin living his best life. I hope you're warm. He's a part-time van lifer. He has a minivan too. He's part-time. So he, he, he goes home when he needs to. <laughs> you know? Where's Brittany? Hopefully you're okay, girl. Where's Tiffany? Hope you're okay. Not sure what area y'all are in right now. Uh, just hoping y'all all okay out there. You know what I'm saying? Us man lifers gotta look out for one another. And if I forgot anyone else, a lot of people that I know that I follow too are right now in Arizona. I know what uh, Don. Um, she's here in St. Louis, girl. I hope you're okay. I hope you're warm. I hope you're safe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 